your stroll through Tumon could be caught on camera. The Guam Visitors Bureau is actually doing a couple of things right now to improve visitor safety. According to Guam Visitors Bureau Board Chair Mark Baldiga, in line with marketing the island as a safe destination for tourists, GVB is increasing surveillance in the tourism capital. The first is we're reactivating all of the cameras in Tumon. They'll all be monitored by a central location because cameras without monitoring is rather useless. So the monitoring station will probably be at the police precinct. And in addition, we're starting a visitor safety patrol. And if you're not being watched on camera, there will be plenty of new faces along Pleasure Island keeping a watchful eye. As Baldiga explains, much like park rangers, the soon-to-be-implemented Visitor Safety Patrol will help deter crime on the beach and on the streets. We're going to hire about a dozen uh, young men and women to ride on segways on uh, special tires so they can go on the beach and they can also drive up and down Tumon. But GVB won't be working solo on these efforts. Baldiga adds that the Visitor Safety Patrol works in cooperation with the Guam Police Department. You don't always need a policeman, a full policeman with a gun and all of those things, just to create a presence. So they'll create a deterrence or a presence on the beaches and in Tumon. And they'll also be there to answer questions for uh, the tourists, sort of like a concierge. And in addition, we're working with Parks and Rec and DPW to, and then we'll go to the legislature, to try to get authorization for them to issue citations, much like the CAPE officers. Ultimately, it's a win-win for tourists and locals alike. The focus of all of this is to raise safety and raise quality so that we can really start to move Guam towards its next evolution as a first choice destination instead of just a close and cheap destination.